guys, Lindsay Bowden here, and I wanted to make a quick video tutorial to show you how I graph quadratic functions using PowerPoint and Excel. This is how I make the quadratic function graphs for all of my products, and I hope you learned something new today. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is insert a chart into my PowerPoint presentation. So I'm going to go to Insert, Chart, then I'm going to go down to XY Scatter. I use this one for a parabola. I also use this one when I'm making polygons or something that's not a function. So I'm going to click on this one. And an Excel spreadsheet is automatically going to open. And it'll have points already there for you. So you want to delete the points first. So I'm just going to press in the cell, click in the cell, press delete until all the points are gone. Then I will minimize my Excel spreadsheet for right now because I need to make my chart look more like a coordinate plane. So I'm going to delete my title first. So click delete. Then I'm going to format my X and Y axes. So I'm going to double click the Y axis and I'm going to go to axis options. I'm going to go from negative 10 to positive 10. And I'm going to make my major units one. Then I'm going to delete the labels that are already there because they're a little hard to read. So I'm going to click on labels, none. Then I'm going to go to the paint bucket and make my line darker with a width of two. And then I'm going to add arrows to both ends. So begin arrow type, I use this one, end arrow type, this one. Then I'm going to follow the same steps for my x axis. No labels, black line width of two arrow, arrow. If you want to make the outside border darker, you can do that by clicking on solid line and let's just leave it black. And then I want to make my coordinate plane a perfect square. So I'm going to double click on the outside border and go to size. I'm going to make mine six by six. That way we can see it. There we go. Now it looks more like a coordinate plane. So to graph a parabola, I'm going to open up my Excel spreadsheet again, and I'm going to type my X values from negative 10 to positive 10. Now you could actually type all those out if you want, but I'm going to take a shortcut. I'm going to grab the bottom right corner of the cell and I'm going to drag it down. They'll all say negative 10 at first, but if you click here, fill series, Go one more, it'll automatically fill it in ascending order for you. Next, I'm going to type my function into Excel. So this is the function that I'm graphing, x squared plus 6x plus 5. So to tell Excel that you want to type a function or a formula, you start by clicking here, which is the formula bar, and you type equals. Oops, not plus, equals. Next, I want to type x squared. You don't actually put variables in Excel, you just tell Excel what you want to be squared. So I want this value to be squared, so I'm going to click here. And then to type squared, I'm going to type Shift 6, so the caret key, and then 2. So that means I want x to be squared. Alright, next I'm going to add this plus 6x. So I'm just going to type plus 6. And then I want it to be multiplied by x, 6 times x. So to tell Excel you want to multiply, you hit Shift 8, so the star means multiply. I want 6 to be multiplied by X, so I'm going to click here again, so 6 times X. And then lastly, I'm going to add plus 5, so plus 5. Then I'm going to click Enter, and it will automatically use that same function on all the X values for you. So I'm going to minimize this and go back to my... PowerPoint presentation, and I'm going to make my parabola black, so I'm going to click on it and go to the paint bucket. I'm going to make it black and a little bit darker so we can see it. If you don't want to have the points on here, you can click one of them and it should highlight all of them. And I'm going to click the paint bucket, marker, marker options, none. And then lastly, I want to add arrows to the end. 
because my parabola is going off the graph here, I'm not going to be able to add it using the line tool. So I'm just going to insert a symbol for an arrow and put it where I need it to go. So I'm going to insert a text box, then insert symbol. This is the symbol that I use. And I'm going to rotate it so that it's facing the right direction. And then I'm going to use the arrows on my keyboard to move it where it needs to go. Or you can click and drag it. Sometimes it's hard to drag though because it's a, a really small symbol. And then I'm going to duplicate that symbol. And I'm going to turn it this way and move it where I need to go. And there you go. There's this function graphed as a parabola.